Hello, this is Thomas Patrice, and I'm the group's director at The Movement, and I'm excited to share another devotional with you today. The message that I'm going to talk about is walking in the righteousness of Christ and not our own. And I want to talk about two different types of believers today. Uh, one camp I fall into, not out of choice, I'm wired this way. One of my greatest struggles in life has always been dealing with perfectionism. Now, perfectionism has caused me and driven me to be good at a great many things, but oftentimes at the expense of peace and contentment in my life. Things always fell short. I was never fully happy because something wasn't perfect. It was something was just a little off. No matter how good I did it, in my own eyes, it was never good enough. And so maybe this is you. Maybe you're in this camp. And maybe, you know, we see this spills into a walk with the Lord as well. And, you know, we try to demonstrate to God what a good Christian we can be. How often I read my Bible, I pray, I give to the poor, I preach to the lost. All these things, you know, are gifts and we pour that in as though that's going to accept us before God. And so in this, we, we subconsciously attempt to impress God with our own righteousness. We attempt to offer uh, works as a means of God's acceptance. And the Bible calls this dead works because there's no amount of works that you can do that will make Jesus love you anymore. There's no amount of works that you can do that will accept you into heaven because our righteousness is as filthy rags. It doesn't matter how good you are or the other camp that I'm about to talk about, how bad you think you are. You may think like, I, I have sinned, I'm not good, you don't know what I've done in my past, you don't know, know who I've hurt, God will never accept me. So if you're in the camp, I'm, I'm good and I'm working really hard, I deserve the pat on the back, or, you know, I've never, I, I'm not good enough and God will never accept me. You know, when God looks at you, he doesn't see you. He sees the reflection of his son. When you become a believer in Jesus Christ, you are washed in the blood of the lamb. And that blood cleanses you white as snow. And when you stand before God on judgment day, he's going to open you, welcome you with open arms because he doesn't see the sin stains that that. You live it by walking in this world in the fleshly fallen nature that we have. So thank Jesus for the work of the cross. And you know, our righteousness is in Christ alone. No amount of religious activities can bridge the gap with God. The letter kills and the spirit gives life. I want to read a passage of scripture in Galatians 2.16 really quick. And it says, know that a person is not justified by the works of the law. Listen to this. The works of the law. There's nothing you can do or not do that's going to justify you. But by faith in Jesus Christ. Your faith in Christ alone puts you in right standing. And that's really what righteousness is. It's in right standing with God. And so we too have put on our faith in Christ Jesus that we may be justified by faith in Christ and not by the works of the law. Listen to this. Because by the works of the law, no one will be justified. And when I say works of the law, it's your good works. It's your bad works. It's dead works either way. And the only works that are acceptable by God is the work that was done 2,000 years ago on the cross at Calvary that makes you one with God. So it doesn't matter. And I, I encourage you with this. Don't look to your own righteousness. Don't look to your own sin. Look to Christ. Look to his works. You know, we put on the righteousness of Christ. Walk in the righteousness of Christ. And so be freed from walking in your attempt to be the one that's going to bridge that gap. It's only in Christ alone. So thank you for listening today. 
And I hope that this inspires you to, to realize your place in the kingdom is not decided by you. It's only decided by him and what he did for you. Thank you for listening today. God bless.